Today, I'm going to help you wall off your village in Manor Lords. This is part of a Manor Lords guide series, so if you missed any other guide tips videos of mine before, you can check them out here in the top right corner. Enjoy. So Greg, the developer of Manor Lords, set up a poll up the other day asking players what should his next patch revolve around. And as the majority of you voted for town halls, Today, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that before that patch comes. It might be tomorrow, in a week, or maybe three months. The idea is that you can do it today too, and I'll help you avoid some of the common bugs and mistakes people run into trying to do that. All right, I will showcase four villages, one in a complete state, one that is about to be walled off soon, and two more where I run into an an accessible village bug due to the manor itself. With the latter ones where I'll explain all the bugged mechanics revolving around building a manor. So in the first playthrough where everything went well, uh, what I did exactly is put down the manor first and then I built the village around it. The way I did that is when I, when I started out, I built my village here in this area, you can all you can still see the remnants of my logging camp where it uh, mowed down the entirety of this forest. I built my village around here with everything set up with the church and a trading post. And once I get to the level of like 10 families, which is five duplex burgage plots, I started putting down my manor. Now, after I finished building the manor, I built the uh i built the church i built up all the burgage plots that i had before and i started moving in my family uh with one burgage plot being built one demolished one built one de demolished so that people would actually move from these houses uh that were over here into the new ones that i built so the idea was that the manor should go down first and nothing else. And for that, I'm going to showcase what I mean. If we go to the other village here, which is uh, the one that I mentioned where we are still in progress of setting up the village, you can see that I already outlined my fortress design. And what I did was, again, I set up a village here. I started, uh, you can see the remnants uh, here. As I started uh, my village, what I did was, uh, again, just set up everything uh, needed and then started moving the entirety of the village inside my fortress design. So the w one thing that I did is for the first I put down the manor, then I put down the wooden church to help me with the approval rating. And finally, I started build building the burger plots. After I was done with those and I moved the entirety of uh, my village over here, I put up the marketplace and I moved the logging camp and everything within the fortress uh, design. And then you can start walling off. Now, what I mean you can start walling off is that once you've set up the entirety of the village or at least the part of the village that you want inside in within the walls of uh, of your uh, manor what you want to do is uh, have a final version such as this one right a final version of what your village you would you would want to look like and the reason for that is that once it's set it's set up you cannot access your village what i mean by that is you are going to be able to access all the things that you've uh, constructed but for one if you put down the manor after your village is uh, after your village is done you won't be able to access any buildings within within these walls and uh, that is the bug itself so if i would want to i don't know to put down a new road within my manor i can't do that right now if i want to put down a new building i can't i can do that right now it is pretty much walled off so you would want to do that at a final state of your village once you 
you know that okay i'm going to move on to another region and play there and this is going to be just an autonomous city in itself and uh, that's pretty much it so the way you want you get to this level is you put down your manor first you build the entirety of your village and then you start walling off once everything is set up and you know that that is the final version of that village now you don't need to upgrade everything uh from the start you can pretty much wall off wall it off at this state and upgrade upgrade the burgers plots later but let me showcase what i mean that your village becomes inaccessible if you enjoyed the video so far and like the content i create you can help my small channel grow by subscribing liking and leaving a comment for the youtube algorithm thank you this right here is a village where i built up my manor last and the biggest problem as you can see with it is that the majority of the buildings are sealed off i cannot access them i cannot click them the only things that i can click are some stables and the livestock trading post and the reason for that is that i built all of these after putting down the main structure the manor itself that is the first bug that you are, you can run into with your uh, city walls design and another thing that you can run into is that once you start building things if you by any chance you save the game mid mid construction and then you reload the game you are going to run into a bug where some of the parts uh the last committed state of your manor is going to be saved and whenever you enter your castle planner you are going to be greeted with a construction cost instead of it being all zeros what is going to happen is that the game is going to think that you want to rebuild everything as you can see this tower right here and it is going to ask you for the construction materials for the entire manor itself for everything the manor has to offer that's the manor the garrison tower the towers and yeah that that is pretty much it so that's the second bug that you can run into third you have the garrison now the garrison is very interesting for me i don't know how this happened but every time i put the garrison down first with my manor one of the problems that i run into every time i want to build the wall or just the towers i have to rebuild the garrison no matter what so for me this adds to the building costs to build costs and in this particular in this particular uh, playthrough i had to do that like four times <laughs> i had to rebuild my garrison four times now into the next playthrough so i might be repeating myself here but you need to make sure that your city is fully completed before you build the walls because uh, this was another example where i didn't know of the bug yet and what i ran into is half of my village is accessible yet the other half is unaccessible there are some buildings that i can access there are some buildings that i cannot access and um yeah um as for the last bug this particular village ran into a bug where some of my trading posts have been put down before i put down the manor and i started running into a trading bug it seems like the villagers cannot find or the traders cannot find their way back to the trading post and you start running out of food for some reason and it pretty much halts the entirety of your trading and as you can see most of my food comes from trading so uh that's pretty much the last bug you want to avoid just put down the entirety of your village first because if you run into this bug where you your uh, trading post becomes unaccessible such as these two you are going to run into blocked traders it is blocking not just the buildings but it feels like it blocks production for some of the buildings that are sealed off within the manor's region and with that my guys i think i pretty much completed the entire guide if you're interested in uh, any of these uh, 
city designs that I made. You can check them up uh, right here in the top right hand corner as well. I have a complete playlist where I design small villages and fortresses in Manorlord. So if you're interested, check it out. And with that said, if you enjoyed what you saw, you can always like, comment, subscribe, become a part of this small but growing channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to see you guys next time.